Hello Internet, my name is Ryan Ingram and we just purchased a property, it's a single family home for $18,000. Now this is a two bedroom, one bath property. The seller needs to get rid of the property pretty quickly for some family emergencies, but you know, some parts of it aren't pretty, but everything is most certainly functional. So uh, on the onset, when I first saw it, I thought there was a great deal of deferred maintenance, but you know, after looking at it closer, it's a older paint job on the exterior. You know, it does need uh, some gutters and a new garage door, but all things considered, what it needs is actually pretty minimal. So minimal that we already have a tenant lined up uh, right at $600 per month. So let's dive into these numbers. So as I mentioned, the purchase price is $18,000. Now on this property, we are borrowing $20,000. We went back and forth for quite some time as to whether or not we wanted just to pay for this in cash or actually uh, finance this. And as we mentioned in the previous video where I went over the two package, we are using the same private lender. So this is interest only for the first year and it is also at nine and a half percent. And then after that, it switches to a seven year amortization schedule. So with the lower valued properties like this one, well, for the properties that have a lower value. So since we purchased this one for 18,000, uh, I would say the after repair value for this one is probably about 35 or $40,000 just because uh, this area, it's like one full street of just uh, block homes. So smaller block homes. Now this unit is actually really impressive. There was a window AC unit in the back bedroom and the seller was telling me that it was really frigid in there when I went in there and she said, so long as you keep the bedroom door open, that one, it was one of the small window units as well. It cools the whole house. So the block homes are very sturdy, uh, very reliable. It's right on the slab. So there's truly probably not going to be any foundational issues um, at all. So it's a really solid investment, but nonetheless, just due to uh, the construction, the size of it and all of that, it's probably going to have a lower value for quite some time until the entire market here uh, increases dramatically. However, all that to say, my brother and I have found that these lower valued homes are really hard to refinance. So that's one of the reasons that we wanted to go ahead and pay for it out of pocket is a lot of banks that aren't in the Midwest have these uh, minimum property values that they're willing to refinance. So if it's not in the Midwest, it's generally somewhere around 100 to 125,000. In other markets similar, uh, I've seen banks have minimums of $75,000, which is truly reasonable for the majority of the country. However, uh, the banks that are local here to the Midwest, they either don't have minimums, have minimums of like 25,000 or 50,000, but nonetheless, uh, when we are trying to refinance these, it seems like without fail, the ones that we purchased for extremely cheap uh, or the ones that have a sub $50,000 ARV, those are very difficult to refinance. But under since this property rents out for 600, the purchase price was so low, we can actually very comfortably amortize this thing over seven years. And when we do that, it is now going to alleviate us uh, from the necessity of refinancing at a later time, as I've explained to you all, which is what we normally do. So for the first year, the interest only payments, those are gonna be right at around $168 a month. I think it's truly like 158, but for the ease of whiteboard math, we're just gonna call it 160. <clears throat> now, once the loan on the 13th month switches over to the seven year amortization period, then the payments are gonna go from 160 to 326. Now, as far as the income of this property goes, again, I mentioned that we already have a tenant lined up at $600 per month. Expenses on this property are pretty low. The taxes are about $600 per year, which is $50 per month. And the insurance isn't far behind at $30 per month. For the property management fee, that is about 8%. So $600, 8%, right at about $50 per month. And as we just discussed, the initial interest payment is $160 per month, which brings all of this to the grand total of $290 per month. So if you, you know, take the income of $600 per month and subtract $290, you're left with $310.
So $310 of cash flow for deploying $18,000 is a phenomenal deal if you ask me. I really think this was a home run deal. Um, there's truly not much that needs to be done on the property other than those things that I mentioned, the garage door, a little bit of gutter work. As far as the exterior goes, the siding looks a little bit rough, but nonetheless, it's functional. I think there's aluminum on one side and vinyl on the front. In addition, there's painted block on the rear and the uh, garage side of the house. But nonetheless, it is an electric overhead garage door, which is always really cool. So $18,000 for a home with an attached functional uh, garage. I think that is, again, a home run deal, especially when you consider the cash flow. And uh, the interest payment for the first year is $160, but once it amortizes, over the seven year period, and that's gonna be $326. So if we add $166 to this and make this the mortgage payment, it's gonna increase our monthly expenses and ultimately we're gonna subtract $166 from this 320 to give us $144. So from the second year to the eighth year, the cash flow on this property is gonna be $144 per month. This property was owner occupied for about the past decade, so it was very well maintained on the inside. Uh, and truly, I mean, the outside as well. I mean, it might not be the prettiest of places that I've ever purchased, but everything is still functional, like I mentioned a few times now. So I'll stop saying it. Nonetheless, I'm just really, really pumped, uh, ecstatic about this property. So I think it's definitely a home run deal. Uh, I'm happy that it is now in our portfolio, and I'm really looking forward to uh, taking care of this property for the next several decades. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please just go ahead and type them below. I'm striving to answer all comments, so be on the lookout for that if you so choose to comment. I really appreciate your time. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to talking to you soon. Thanks.